Hey everybody, Lammy here and welcome to another video for my Halloween series for 2015. Behind me here, we're going to be making this centerpiece today. It's a candy, a Halloween candy themed centerpiece that's great for parties or just to have on your table uh, during the Halloween season. So anyway guys, Mom's going to show you how to do it and let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to get started here. So first things you're going to need is a clear, large mouth jar or vase or glass, whatever you prefer. This just happens to be plastic, which is no big deal. And so this is going to be what everything goes inside. Then you're going to need another container, um, smaller in size, um, that will fit down inside the big one like this. Now this is optional. You do not have to have a centerpiece thing, but we're going to be putting flowers in here as you saw at the beginning of the video. So I wanted to have a little container in the middle. Now this little container wants to slide around in here. So what we did is we got some putty and we're just going to stick some putty on the bottom of the jar. And that is going to help keep the jar steady inside of here squish that down on there and now it won't move around as much see so now we can start filling it up which is the fun part first up i'm going to put a lot of candy corn along the bottom all right guys so there you'll see i filled up all the way around the edge a layer of candy corn now I'm going to use some black Twizzlers, so that way it'll add that nice Halloween black and orange and yellow color scheme. So I'm going to put those in. All right, guys, so now I have a layer of the black, which is kind of hard to see because of this dark container behind it. But once this is filled up, you'll be able to see it really well. Next, we're going to move on to the fun part, which is putting some different kinds of peeps around the edge. So this year, they came out with tombstone peeps. I don't remember ever seeing those before. The ghosts I've seen before, and also some pumpkins. So I'm going to put these all around the edge. So here's a little tombstone peep. So these are tricky because they, they're a little chubby. So I'm going to stick those right down in there. So that way they're going to line all the way up. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and we'll be right back. So there you have the marshmallow peeps and I just alternated the tombstones, ghosts, and pumpkins all the way around like that. All right, so now we're going to put the finishing touches on it. So I have some fake flowers here that we're going to put in in the end. But, but first, I have this neat Halloween ribbon that I'm going to fold in half because I think it's too thick. So I'm going to fold it in half and then wrap it around. This is just to cover this. Um, it's just to cover the rim of this container. Tie it all the way around. And then we're going to tie it in a big bow. All right, so there's the bow, guys, and we're just going to put our flowers down in that center jar, and that's the reason we have that center jar. So we've put them down in that center jar, and there's our pretty bow, and there is our Halloween centerpiece. All nice and finished, and that is how you do it. All righty, guys, so there you have it. That is how you make your very own Halloween candy themed centerpiece for your table. It's great for parties, and if you have it at a party, maybe towards the end of the party, everybody could eat the candy so it doesn't go to waste. <laughs> so anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in a comment below if you have ever made one of these or if you plan to after seeing this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to me. I have a lot more videos coming, and follow me on all of my social media. The links are in the description box below, as well as a link to a video I did about an app called Periscope that I'm going to use to start doing my Lammy live shows again. So be sure to watch that video to find out how you can watch me live. So anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.